Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as United Scandinavia. So, it's an old saying that no plan survives contact with the enemy. Ours did not. We're losing a lot of war support due to enemy bombing. Well, so I nearly have enough power to try and bolster spirits a bit. Most of the bombing seems to be... And nothing, nothing around southern Sweden, mostly around um, the Jutland Peninsula, where I already have, I already have full um, anti-air. So I'll go back these a bit, and then focus entirely on planes. Yeah, we do not have nearly enough of them. In hindsight, that might not have been my best idea. I'm also not entirely sure if the Germans will actually declare war on the Soviet Union because they haven't got a war here. Or because they haven't taken this. There's some weird interaction there. Oh, are we at war with the Soviets as well? I have no idea. Or did they just over revolt against the Germans? I can't remember. As it stands, we have a severe shortage of planes. And a shortage of... Where are they? Rubber plants. Push them up first because they're going to take. Because I need them very quickly. On the plus side, we do at least have the enemy have their cipher, which is. Now to go get another one. Let's see. Initially. Oh, that's. I always end up clicking San Marino instead of Italy. Oh, well, not that it makes much difference. And last time, um, Italy did try a naval invasion here. I've taken a couple of garrisons down here to provide some extra support. And we'll see how that goes. And yet we are very, very short of planes. Well, this is sitting around doing nothing. I might just... Delete it to try and bolster these a bit more. Bitch. Because we're still cranking out new ones. I mean, that would be my best decision. And our fleet got pretty much wiped out out here. Moment, we're just sitting there waiting for them to come to us. Mines haven't really done a lot, but yeah, it doesn't really help with the naval. That might be how we actually got through in the first place. Oh, gonna crank out as many subs as I can get away with. Yep, we do not have enough planes here. We have less air defense, agility, and speed. It's not good. Here we have the advantage because we actually have more and we have bridge support as well. Apparently not reduced by anti-air, which makes any sense, but never. Again, I thought we just got air superior. Instead of air interception, 
for the ROC. Well, we managed to disrupt. Oh wait, that's friendly planes on air, on close air support. Oh, they're trying to push through through the Schleswig line, which is pretty heavily dug in. Then one or two of these down here to lend some extra entrenchment. Yeah, we lost the submarine. And spread them out a bit more. Yep, two destroyers lost to all this. Hmm. Oh, we're shooting down a lot of their, their races at least, that helps. Okay, looks like we're, like, we're outnumbered quite heavily. 784 to 200. Plus one plane to... I'm shooting down bombers with... Right, let's just back. America event. Let's see how this goes. Yep, we do. We're outnumbered that heavily. What we can really do now is just hold on. Another thing I forgot to do, putting um, radars everywhere. So radar in Jutland should help with that at least. At least with spot with spotting planes. Yeah. Let's see. As takes this isn't too slow. And just have that. Who knows how this works? Okay, now they've got this some um, extra dockyards. Do I go with Hmm, that wouldn't be a bad idea. A lot of very good stuff here. Actually, I'll go with the command structure and Royal Military Academy because they're quick. Then I'm going to go in, he in here to state railways, infrastructure, and then civilian sector. Probably the in infrastructure as well because I do not have enough of that. Somehow we now have air superiority locally. That's unexpected. I wonder if it's because I gave these garrison divisions some support anti-air as well. That's all going to add up. Or it could also be that I finally have a radar that provides some extra coverage here. I don't know. But I'm not going to question it too much more. Well, Yugoslavia has joined us now because Germany declared war on them. Which is probably going to draw some things away from us. I don't have the network too much more. Of course, the reason we don't really have the network is I put, put a couple of agents onto infiltrating the German Air Force. Me, that'd be so necessary now, but it probably isn't completely wasted. And what is our preferred tactic going to be? Hmm. Delay, which. 
Plastic defense. Overwhelming fire. I don't know. I'll go with this because artillery doesn't solve your problem. You're not using enough. Of it. Oh, the air. Oh, air superiority's back. See how long that lasts. One plane to exactly. Oh, that's not a good trade. Four planes to what? Seems to come and go. Just sometimes we get, sometimes we don't. I don't know why. So I can now update um Barno to give select a policy first. Funds gain mean we research the rest of this quicker, but. Not too pushed with that. Vertical integration means we wouldn't need as much I mean, resources to, for production, but the penalty would be greater if we did. Did run out of the thing is steel is pretty much the only thing we need for infantry equipment, so I'm actually okay with this. Extra reliability wouldn't be bad. Extra research speed wouldn't be bad either. But this, this is a no-brainer for me. Uh, what's left of the Scandinavian fleet? One destroyer, several old cruisers that are being upgraded. Building a few new ones that have been upgraded as well, but much Iceland fleet such as it is. Might just actually bring some of the, some of these destroyers back to the main fleet. Air support. That's a while away. Seem to have settled into a bit of a stalemate at the moment. Oh, he's trying to produce more steel, is he? That's um this guy up. I don't know what they're up to. Let me. S can't really afford to get away with this. They probably don't need so many anti air now. Speedland already has a. Uh, yeah. Need those now. Probably, over, probably over prepared those and unprepared in other fields. Yeah, like like I said, steel is the one thing we're not we're not really short of anything except maybe rubber and oil. And we are importing a fair amount of oil itself, but those bush. We're not losing any oil from the from scaling that back and we gain an extra factory to get some of this stuff out. Can I upgrade anything here? Radar, uh, radio, and the improved cannon. This is why I'm bothering with the engine because this is an infantry tank. It really doesn't matter. Maybe I should change this to a diesel engine for the extra. Not as fast, but it's a lot more reliable.
So basically, reliability has no effect above 100%, but at this point, it doesn't make sense. Which means we'll lose less to attrition. We've got some extra armor on it, better radios, better cannons. I think it'll be doing the job better. Oh, the Jutland Peninsula has been targeted for naval invasions again, because we don't have naval supremacy anymore. And I do not have enough planes for that. But if they're willing to let's see where they're planning to aim. Probably Arhus and Alberg. Yeah, there's a reason why I have some of these garrisons here. I'll put another one here, just back up here. Sure. Whatever. Now. Other research bonuses, or you know, I don't actually. Use Jaegers. Yeah, should. So basically, um, Jaeger is something that Road to 56 adds. And we did start with them, but I disbanded them because they just weren't much use to me. But now they have the spare manpower. Maybe I should look into them again. Because, um, basically, they specialize in fighting in marshes, mountains, and forests. Guess what we have a lot of in here? Oats. Oats. Plainsmith. Forests. Hills. Mountains. Yeah, you can see why, they ha why we had them to start with, but found them much use. Especially since down here. Planes are completely flat. They're completely balanced. This should be. So, we, we infiltrated their air force, but one of our agents has to go into hiding. Oh. Jorberg, go over here and start, start taking over the network here. Some activity. Right, little captain. Have you... Back here and do some extra counters. Ooh, a dangerous naval invasion targeting. Yeah, yeah. E fourteen. We do. And we have a decent enough army here. Hmm. I'll build another one of these V2 infantry divisions. I'm going to sign them here just to round, round things up a bit so I have a nice round number. Oh. One infantry division. Come on, Italy. Lost us.
Oh, they took, tried taking Malmo and then Helsingborg. Oh, they're trying to land here. How sweet. For liberating Malmo. And what do we get in here? I think they're added by one of the mods I have. Like division attack wouldn't be bad. Extra infantry gain from experience from combat. Mm, speed wouldn't be bad. Well, speed doesn't really matter too much on infantry. I think this might be bad. Yeah. The air superiority. Oh, we got another race pilot out of that. Oh, someone's trying to land on Jutland. Italy. You do realize you're... <laughs> yeah, naval invasions are hard. And just to screw with them a little bit more. I'm going to build a few forts here. it sounds we actually have air superiority over most of these places I don't have it over the lower baltic sea but i think i can deal with that things go convoy ready again boys Well, bugger. Really, a single militia division trying to get on board? Like this? I need to spread this around a bit. Okay, let's see if I how much I need to hold the just hold this area. Do I need ten divisions here? That's it. F thirteen. Question is, is this gonna Cause them to push in. We do it now. We do have allied troops with us, but supplies are turning into a bit of a problem because we're being raided all the time. And I may as well do both. We have enough trucks? Yes, we do. Trains? Yes, we do. And again, we've lost air superiority over the Jutland Peninsula. They're bombing some of our logistics and buildings, but we're downing a lot of their anti air. Bombing there. Where was I? Ah, yes. Basic snorkel. I needed to do this ages ago. Well, what do you know? Germany has broken the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. 
which means they might just start taking some of their planes away from us. But you never know. Soviets lost a couple of destroyers here to all these. I can't remember that heavily, can't blame them for failing. And as usual, I've started building railways through and naval bases through North Africa. My situation there is good. Now it looks like the, the Brits managed to take Sardinia. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. Malta's still holding on. Naval base or radar state, Gibraltar, the base as well. For now, we're kind of holding. Seem we seem to have the air superiority now. Well, looks like our fleet came out to play. Of course, they're repaired. We're still repairing and refitting, but we'll get there. And we just lost two more heavy cruisers. And where destroy anything? We are not equipped, are we? Thing is, though, they can't get past us. We can't push them. Oh, I'm. I think that it might be time to start focusing on tactical bombers for for hit and run attacks in Germany. Just enough to give the give them the extra not to screw around with their industry a bit. Oh what the hell? Uh the Egyptians are trying to push through. here who can help out. So I didn't actually realize that Northern Schleswig is a different province. Look about a derp move. Well since I have to spare Eric's B, I'm gonna get this key point bombing because it'll we have extra strategic bombing to our medium bombers. I'm going to be creating some of those. But they write, let's have a, let's say, improved medium airframe at minimum. Uh, Japan has just declared war on Philippines and the East Indies, which means America's now. Well, it's probably going to interest me. So as it stands, it's are being pushed back as bad as the this part here is stalled big due to that lack of supply people. I can read about that. Having a few dogfights over the Upper Baltic Sea, 
I mean, it looks like we... Hmm. Yeah, the Germans have way more planes than us, but we're disrupt... Most of them are close air support or naval bombers disrupting them. Because we have anti-aircraft guns, and I'm building more. I'm building more there. And building more to at least help with that. Is there in the group? And this is going so far. Most of our fleet has long since been wiped out. I have started rebuilding it, but it feels like it's just wind, to be honest. But the upgraded submarines we're getting will help. Build up a submarine. Build a snorkel. The... Then after the his words are done, put them in here. That's how this is going at the moment. Not good, not bad. Still maybe still Says the war is going in the defender's favor. I could have sworn it was even further in their defender. But they're the defensive side. Unless, of course, I've got this. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure which way around that goes. I think that's going to be it for now. Americans have joined the war, so things are going to start sh probably shifting a little bit. At the moment, I'm just holding this ground here. I think what I'm probably going to do at some point is put them back on the, well, I'm calling the Schleswig line, and have them push through here. Once that's done, because you can see we have a lot, we can see where all their troops are. It's going to be helpful. Yes, they have a lot here because we have a lot here. The British, so the Egyptians, things will probably start, start coming too. Yeah, that's how this is going to go for now. Leave it, I'll leave it there for now. See you in the next one. Bye for now.